Okay, so this is about a project uh, called let's pull this close. This is about a project called uh, Silver Oak um, on uh, so hardware, software, code design, and code verification in Cox. Um, first, uh, a little disclaimer: if this talk is going to be bad, it's because I arrived at my hotel at 4 a.m. Uh, <laughs> because delays. It got it came on TV. As you can see, uh, this is my flight, which came on TV and it's still delayed. And um, this lady was interviewing people in the airport hall that I was sitting. And um, while I was waiting on my plane, at the end of the time for number two, if this talk is going to be good, it's not because of me, because, but because of the collaborators, uh, which are Ben and uh, Jay and uh, Pia uh, Satnam, who is actually also uh, sitting here, so you can talk to him uh, also about this project. All right, so um, this project, uh, Silver Oak, happened in the context of uh, a pro uh, another project at Google uh, called uh, Oak. And uh, they understood it, uh, their, their, their main motivation is that uh, given uh, some user or some server that has some private uh, data and is about to trust this data to some other server, remote server in the cloud, um, uh, it, it might wonder, well, how is this server going to use my data and it, will it stick to some policies? And their idea is uh, to use a silicon root of trust uh, so that uh, you can have a small a trusted uh, co-processor that's uh, verified to very high standards and this small co-processor will then uh, use uh, attestation and crypto uh, stuff and uh, some hard-coded key inside uh, the processor to create an attestation that says yes the code that's running in the code that is inside this instruction memory uh, does um, it is the right software is, is signed by someone so uh, you can be a little more uh, feel a little more uh, safe uh, at trusting uh, this your, your private data to this uh, big server in the cloud. And so um, if you look closer into this uh, Open Titan uh, processor, it actually consists of an off-the-shelf uh, RISC-5 processor, and then it uh, uses uh, hardware accelerators for important uh, cryptographic operations that are uh, happening a lot. Uh, there and then it has uh, some drivers written in, in C uh, for the accelerators and uh, the firmware for all, all, all the attestation. And um, the goal of the, this uh, Silver Oak project is to perform verification across the hardware and software and um, to basically produce drop in replacements for certain uh, both hardware and software parts of this Open Titan project. And uh, in a way that they still function if you plug them in onto the FPGA uh, test board. And uh, one particular emphasis is that uh, some of the trickiest vulnerabilities appear at the boundary between uh, the software and hardware, and therefore we don't want to uh, verify only the individual components, but also their interactions. And our approach is to use uh, some DSLs in uh, COP and uh, write specifications, implementations, as well as proofs, all in the COP proof assistant, and connect all together uh, to um, uh, end to end uh, proof. So regarding tools, um, in order to specify what the RISC-V processor uh, is, is doing, we're using a, a project called uh, RISC-V COC, uh, that, I, uh, that is just a specification of what uh, the RISC-V ISA is that I worked on the, in my <coughs> PhD. And then um, for the hardware accelerators, we're using a hardware description language called uh, Java that I'm going to talk about next. And then for the drivers, um, we're using Bedrock 2, that's a C-like uh, uh, low-level programming language that I uh, co-developed also uh, during my PhD. Um, so the basis of uh, the Kava hardware description language lie in uh, Lava, which has been done a uh, while well ago, and uh, more than one author of it uh, is sitting here, actually. Um, and um, so uh, it is a, a domain-specific language uh, within uh, Haskell, and um, based on uh, uh, using some uh, primitive uh, co combinators, uh, everything lives in the monad, and uh, uh, type classes uh, provide a way to uh, parameterize over the implementation of uh, these uh, primitives. And then the two main uh, instances that we're using uh, is typically the one uh, for simulation within Haskell and the other uh, uh, to uh, uh, cr create uh, net 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 networks. And then more recently, uh, Satnam, uh, wanted to redo uh, Lava, but in Cox, so that you can write uh, follow proofs about it, and that's how uh, he came up with the name uh, Kava. And uh, here you can see a little uh, type class uh, 
uh, same as it was in Haskell or similar, but uh, done in uh, Kopf. And um, just to give one very, very simple example, uh, say you have like an AND gate and an and, uh, in, in, in inverter gate, and uh, both uh, uh, live uh, are like uh, in this mo monadic uh, style. You can use uh, either a Chrysler arrow to compose them together, or if you don't like uh, the high level uh, monadic operators, you can also write uh, it in do notation. So uh, the, these two uh, definitions are, are exactly uh, equivalent. And uh, here we took some cock code. And as you can see, you can write proofs. And in this case, it's so simple that it's actually a very simple proof. But you can also write more complicated proofs. And then, um, given uh, such a um, uh, cock uh, uh, circuit, you can also uh, generate the uh, net disks from it uh, directly uh, using uh, Java. So that's uh, about as much as I wanted to say about Java. Um, now, uh, for better of two, um, we used it to uh, transcribe some uh, of these uh, C drivers that are part of the uh, Open Titan uh, framework. We transcribe them into a uh, better of two. And then um, uh, I specified what, uh, what we expect such a hardware accelerator uh, to do as, a, as, as some kind of a high level uh, state machine where, you, where, where we say, OK, first uh, we have an idle state, and then you can write at a certain a memory map IO address. Uh, to say now I want to start feeding you some data that will, uh, for, of which I would like you to compute the hash. And uh, that's kind of uh, describing the protocol at the high level. And then um, here's uh, just a bit of, uh, a bit of the flavor. Um, this, is, this is a specification written in COP, which says that if you're in one, one state uh, before you uh, call uh, this uh, SHA update function, and then after that you will end up uh, in this, which is some, some, uh, some that, that's what Cox specifications might look like, and uh, I proved that this uh, one satisfies the specification. And then the cool part is that if you have uh, proven your accelerator correct in Java, and you have proven the driver for cor correct uh, in uh, better of two, since both of them uh, is in the Cox proof assistance, you can actually combine these together, and the intermediate specification uh, cancels out, and you get one uh, end-to-end -end theorem. And in more detail, the architecture uh, looks it's a whole a whole uh, zoo of uh, theorems and things that you can parameterize. Uh, most of it I did uh, during my PhD, but it was fortunately uh, general enough that I could just come in my to my internship and like apply all of this, and it kind of worked, and it was pretty exciting. And unfortunately, there's one part which we didn't uh, finish, and still a bit of a to do, so it's not not all, not fully verified everything. Um, you, I was able to write an end-to-end -end, uh, theorem. Of course, uh, you have to care about a lot of details, so it's kind of verbose, but I just wanted to show you that you it actually fits on one slide, uh, up to unfolding more <laughs> definitions. Um, the, 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 yeah, the, 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 the main thing is, uh, OK, all right, if you have uh, some random out output play placeholder and then you run the thing, then there's actually the SHA is actually living there. That's the thing uh, we, we proved. Modulo is the one thing that we did not prove yet. Um, that is kind of cool because you can have a theorem that spans uh, the drivers as well as the compiler uh, that I also developed in my PhD and uh, the hardware accelerator written in a completely different language as well as an arbitrary RISC-5 uh, processor as long as it satisfies our uh, RISC-5 code specification. And uh, Satnam also took a, a few of uh, these uh, hardware uh, components and uh, dropped them into the open Titan thing and tested it on, on the FPG. FPJ test board and uh, it still met uh, the timing constraints and no regressions in size and passed all uh, open Titan tests. Uh, I think we didn't do all the dropping tests with software, but it's kind of expected that this should, should work uh, similarly as well. And so uh, that's, that's uh, as much as I wanted to say.